Hey guys, MovieFan here to talk to you about something very interesting. Just recently, I've been reminded of an old legend that I'm sure a lot of you have never heard about, and that would be the long-lost dinosaurs of Central Park. And it's not the type of dinosaurs that you might think, because these dinosaurs were something very special. And it goes like this. In 1869, New York got an inspiration to try and build a Paleozoic Museum in Central Park. Part of the inspiration came from the Crystal Palace of London. For those of you who don't know what that is, that was pretty much the first attempt to reconstruct dinosaurs in, well, basically kind of a museum form, which was built in 1850 and finished in 1851. By 1869, New Yorkers felt that they should have something like that too, I guess. It's not very clear as to the full inspiration from it, but obviously that was part of it. The other inspiration would have to be the artist himself, Benjamin Hawkins, who actually built the models of the Crystal Palace. Well, he moved to New York at that time, and he was really pushing for New Yorkers to try to fund such a project. Hawkins' grand idea was to make it into a huge museum that would display all kinds of incredible dinosaurs and other extinct creatures. We don't really know the full extent as to what they were supposed to look like. We just have these sketches to go on. But if anything, it was probably going to be similar to the Crystal Palace, with a few alterations, of course. They had agreed, and work got started immediately. And unfortunately, by 1870, the administration of the park had changed hands to a group known as the Tammy Hall Gang, led by a man that was known as Boss Tweed. Now, Boss Tweed was against the whole idea, and pretty much canceled the project immediately, saying that they should focus on animals that are alive, and not ones that no longer exist. Hawkins wasn't very happy about that, and he stated his disapproval of Boss Tweed very publicly. But Hawkins never gave up hope that he would open the Paleozoic Museum, so he kept pushing. And while he tried to pull it off, the models of the dinosaurs he was working on sat in the workshop. Then on May 3rd in 1871, Vandals had broken in and smashed all of the models, completely destroying them. Hawkins was so distraught, he went back to England. But he and so many others have accused Boss Tweed of being responsible for this. And that was the end of the story. However, legend has it that the models were buried in Central Park. Supposedly, they're not too far from Umpire Rock and Hesker Ball Fields. So the story goes, anyway. And another tale tells that the metal frames that held the concrete dinosaurs in place, as well as the pieces themselves, were probably thrown into the pond nearby. And that's how the legend goes. Now, if you're wondering, has anything ever been done about this? Have they ever tried looking? Well, supposedly there's been multiple attempts to try to see if there really are pieces of those concrete models buried under there. Supposedly they dug or maybe they used some sonar or something i don't know it's not very clear at this point but so far every attempt that has been made has yielded nothing and as for the story about him being in the pond well that's been taken care of for so long it's been you know well maintained that if there was something there it was surely gone by now because they would have probably just brought it up and threw it in the trash so to speak however there is another version to this legend that most people don't know about, and that's the story that the metal and the concrete were basically recycled. The metal was probably used for other building projects, while the concrete was used to build roads. And most likely that's probably what happened. But who knows? Maybe someday someone might find something that was overlooked, like maybe a piece of concrete scale or something it was really a sad thing that this was never fully built because it would have been pretty cool to have something like that here in america however many historians say that it was probably for the best because by the 1870s we were getting a better understanding of what dinosaurs looked like more or less obviously the concept of having them look like the crystal palace dinosaurs was way out of date by then there have been several articles talking about this and if you want to learn more about the story, I'll put the links below so you can find them. They're very fascinating. And they also include the question of who was responsible for the destruction of the Paleozoic Museum. Back then, everybody believed it was Boss Tweed. However, 
New research has revealed that the culprit was most likely one of his subordinates, a man named Henry Hilton. The reasons are still unclear. And at this point, I dare not say because, you know, it's best left to the article. So you might want to check that out. So what do you guys think? Do you think there's any truth to the legend about the dinosaurs buried in Central Park? Or do you think that they were probably just recycled into everyday materials? Feel free to let me know. This is Movie Fan, signing off.